What's going on guys? Let's check out today's project. We're going to go from the plastic standard Dexlaxle oil bath cap to the Valgrim aluminum oil bath cap. Alright, let's take a look at this now. This is the Valcrum ST350 and that's what's going to replace my 10K Dexter axles on my PJ that takes a Dexter 2188. You can see that there. Dexter 2188 cap. There's a 2136 and then as you go lower out of the 10Ks they change sizes so definitely make sure that the 350 means it's three and a half inch cap and that's that's the thread part that's not the overall don't don't just measure it and go with it you're gonna actually gonna have to take the thread measurement uh, the 400 of course is a four inch and, and so on let's go ahead and open this up put this is here A new o-ring with it You'll notice it's got torque specs on it, 25 to 30 foot pounds. Uh, this here has a fill and a drain port, which is awesome. It, it keeps from having to take the whole cap off to do maintenance. Uh, that way, you can just make sure that it's you know somewhat down, unscrew it, let it all drain out, uh, and eventually roll it over. Or you can take the pop the cap off, roll it over. There's your fill port there. It's awesome. Uh, another cool thing about this too is that inside there's a magnet to catch debris and keep any small shaving or anything from hitting a uh, get caught in the bearing and make it a grenade it's not not good that's it that's all there is to it it's aluminum the whole thing's aluminum pretty sweet look forward to seeing how these hold up Looking forward to see if I'm catching any shavings off of the trailer with only, I think I've got probably 30,000 miles on it now. Be nice to see. We'll update that later. Alright, pretty straightforward for removal. Uh, what really helps is if they're put on too tight, like these are, <laughs> the speed caps wrench. This is the two and a half inch that fits the Dexter 2188s. Uh, some have the 2136s. It's the, I believe it's the same size, it may be two and a quarter, but definitely check before you buy. There are different sizes of these, and that's a uh, speed caps. It's like $18, $17, $18. So, pretty self explanatory too tight to turn by hand. Just use a hammer. Slowly. Start to pound on that. Until it was turned by hand. says on the cap. Pretty impressive. You'll see actually how loose these have to get to start leaking. And definitely get yourself a pan. I've got a Tupperware dish that my wife doesn't know about yet to catch this. Still not leaking. Almost have to take it off to have it start leaking. Then you'll have to wait a little bit for this to drain out. It's, it's not fast. We'll kind of zoom through this. Uh, definitely make sure that the O-ring came off with it. 
you can see there. And this is the Dexter 2188. It even says on there, torque to 15 to 23 foot pounds. I had to take a hammer to it several times. Way too tight, Dexter. PJ. It says torque to 25 to 30 foot pounds. I'm just gonna put that on basically hand tight. Grab this speed cap wrench. Throw it about another eight to quarter of a turn. Should be good. As long as you can't take it off by hand, it's about all 25 to 30 foot pounds is. Another thing I like about these is it takes a number five Allen key. This is your drain slash fill port. Which in order to do your maintenance properly, you're supposed to change the oil in it about, I think it says every 10 to 15,000 miles. So in order to do that, you would have to take that pull cap off, the plastic cap, and do what we just did. Whereas to this, you just make sure this is towards the bottom, untwist it, let it drain out by itself. Easy to catch. Uh, not everything's soaked in oil. You're not soaked in oil. So pretty handy. And I use the Lucas Hub Oil. Uh, it's available at almost any truck stop. Readily available anyway. It has fill lines on here. Uh, this one says oil level uh, 350, ST375, and ST400 is all this bottom line. And then the ST2875 is the secondary line, but as far as recommendation goes, I mean, it, it didn't come with any instructions or proper things like that. So I'm basically just gonna fill this like I did any other time up to the bottom of the plug doesn't take a lot. I would check this periodically after installing it to make sure that because the oil is going to get back there and, and seat and catch some areas that it won't just sitting stagnant like this once it starts moving around and rolling and going side to side it's, it's going to get in everywhere it needs to go. Do that. Top it off later if need be. Easy. Easy stuff. One thing I kind of found ironic about that is that um, is how, how far that had to come out in order to start leaking. 
like I said, it, it almost had to come off. So it's one thing, one reason I do like the oil bath instead of the grease is because if you do start having a problem, you're going to see it hopefully uh, before a bearing explodes. And if, if you've ever seen or had that happen, you don't want any part of that at all. That's terrible. That's a day ender right there and money. If I'm having a leak or a fault problem somewhere, I would like to visibly see it first. That way I know what's happening. That's it, take your screw. Screw it back in there. Tighten it up just a little bit. I love that it's angled. It gives you plenty of clearance room here. You're not scraping your hand on anything or having to stand the tool up and spin it right and you know, whatever. It's not like it needs to be crazy tight anyway. Just seated. That's all there is to it.